president of Omega Fire Ministries, Apostle John C. Suleiman, has shared insight on the effect and difference between religion and spirituality. He stated that religion is more of emotions while spirituality is connected to scriptures, the word of God. He also said that some persons deliberately involve themselves in wickedness and end up carrying the Bible. The clergyman also gave us a familiar illustration to portray his point. In his words, religion enslaves you. Religion gives you commandment. Religion is emotional. It is tied to your emotions, but spirituality is tied to scriptures. Many people are bound by religion. Have you not seen them? People who are deliberately wicked, after wickedness, they will hold Bible. You oppress people, cause problem, cause catastrophe in the country. You changed Naira note and then you are coming out of court with Bible. You will still go to jail, you hold Bible, people died. That religion, God does not empower wickedness. You cannot treat people like that because you are trying to score a political point. You are trying to oppress people died. Now you are coming out of court with a Bible. Massive Bible bigger than the one pastors hold. You think the bigger your Bible, the bigger your forgiveness of sins. Yes, I thought, what's your take on this? Uh, you know, what, what do you have to say on this? Uh, let me leave it to uh, my Vias Atom, yes, to comment on and uh, to, to know who uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor of Omega Fire Ministries, Apostle John Suleiman, is talking about. Uh, Simeon Femi says that during the hardship, people died, some have depression, some died by BP, some lose job, some lose husband, wife, children because because of cashless a policy, useless man now carrying red cover Bible, now prison you go dial, okay. Uh, talking about a me for the day, a taker here replied to Simeon saying, "No cause him, na my brother lo na true you talk or gami." Uh, faith in God to a taker says a uh, miracle is caused if humanity forgives him. God Almighty will not forgive him. Jesus Christ. James Baba here says a uh, pastor God in miracle general of a sia new naira ministry. Say pastor God in miracle general of a sia new naira ministry. Then uh, the pastor here uh, reacted to James uh, comment saying uh, his headquarters. Is a Kuje prison. His headquarters is a Kuje prison. Then, uh, like seen smarts here, says uh, some wicked individuals who portray themselves as saints are excited about the policy. Then, because of their selfish interest, after their plans did not work, now they are spreading lies and propaganda over a fallacy mandate. Okay, let's see. As we take more reactions, stay tuned, please. Jonathan Co here says, Hello, I'm with you on this prophet. Uh, laughing there, and uh, later I said, uh, I'm with you on this uh, uh, prophet. Levi Opara Ogu says, uh, Deliberate wickedness. Adesola. Biodu says a uh, evil Sibian shaman. Uh, Yusuf Ismaila replied to Adesola Biodu saying, uh, What the man, what? Okay, let's move forward, please. Uh, Christ in me uh, says, uh, As you believe, he changed Naira notes on his own accord without the order of the president. Why punish him and leave his master? Gallivanting when you people see the truth, say it. Then a taker here replied to Christ in me and say, says, uh, uh, Come on, come on, my friend, don't be stupid. Brainwashed person all the time. 
Come on, my friend, don't be stupid, brainwashed person all the time. Time from your present knowledge or understanding. Keep sentiment apart and let face the reality concerning that useless, worthless, brainless, idiotic, emi feeling. Godi, Godi here says, uh, you kill many people because of your useless ambition. God can never forgive you, wicked man. Solo White Star says, uh, Pastor God emi feeling. The innocent soul that died because of him will haunt him until his death. He must face the consequences of his evil deed. He is an evil man carrying Bible will not save him. Adekule Yusu says, God bless you, Apostle Suleiman. Benson Ogo says, the issue of Naira Redesign was a perfect work of Emifili and Buari, with the Attorney General, even the Finance Minister, didn't, didn't anything when court give order. Emifili disobey it. Arrest my case. May God judge everyone. Emifili disobey court order. It's true. Saying that uh, he's not aware of such a court order from Supreme Court. Uh, thanks to former governor of Kadan states, uh, Erufai, and the uh, uh, other uh, state governors, uh, people, uh, g uh, former governors like uh, Ganduji and others that approach the uh, Supreme Court. Yes. All right. Um, Apostle of Truth again here says, says uh, now so for Nigeria and their really religious religious city say now so for nigeria and their religiosity prince olushola says um, <coughs> i beg your pardon says apostle suleiman thanks for saying truth some people will intentionally commit sin and later carry big bible and be pleading for forgiveness Nathaniel Nathan Iyama says uh, he didn't know he was only deceiving himself. He thinks he can deceive us with the size of his Bible. Even if he dies with the Bible in his hand, the Bible will drop off from his hand and the Bible will drop off from his hand at the gate of hell and he will go straight into hell for his wickedness. Then uh, Isaac Shika says, uh, Apostle, is there anything wrong in changing the Naira? Our problem with him is the way it all went. Martin Daniel says, uh, I think God said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But when a self-acclaimed man of God gloats over the misfortune of a fellow human being the question that will come to many discerning minds is are you truly a man of god or just deceiving people and this is all we have to take for now ensure you subscribe to our channel uh share this report across all supreme liberation center pick on oh, beg your pardon uh, share this report across all news platforms and uh, buy for now do join us in the other news thanks so much and buy for now please okay